If you're spending hours trying to improve your website copy, maybe even your SEO, struggle no more because in this video, I'm gonna give you five easy ways to improve your website with ChatGPT. As a web designer, I know the importance of having a great website and making sure that it's SEO friendly. That's a huge part of what I do with my clients. And personally, I love ChatGPT. If you're new to it, if you've never heard of it, you're like, what are you talking about? It is one of the newer, most popular AI tools out there that can help you do so many things, <laughs> not just in your business. It can write recipes. It can generate ideas for you. It is a machine <laughs> and it is free. They do have a paid plan, but it's totally free. So I want to show you how to utilize this in your business. And if you've already used it, share some of your favorite prompts in the comments below. So we're going to start out with using ChatGPT to write some copy for us. We're going to really use this as a starting point for our copy. I wouldn't necessarily recommend just asking ChatGPT to write a page or blog post for you and copying and pasting. There's a lot of back and forth about whether or not Google or other search engines can recognize AI content and it could penalize you. Also, sometimes ChatGPT is not accurate. <laughs> Maybe it's not accurate in just what it's saying, in particular to you, your services, your products. It may write something that is completely irrelevant, something you don't offer. Um, it also doesn't usually include a lot of personality. So you do want to tweak any copy to really sound like you, but it's a great starting point. So here's what ChatGPT wrote for a fake website for a therapist who specializes in clients that have ADHD. Then we're going to move on to SEO and we're going to have it generate some keyword ideas for us. So you can give it as many topics as you want, copy and paste the keywords. You do want to go research the keywords. So ChatGPT isn't necessarily doing the research for you. It's just coming up with the ideas. So you want to make sure that these keywords have good search and aren't too competitive, but it saves you so much time not having to go come up with a bunch of keywords and then research them. You just have to do the research part. Now, whenever I do SEO workshops for product-based businesses, I always tell them that their product descriptions on their website are also important for SEO. And this is the biggest thing that product-based businesses struggle with because typically they wanna write a few short sentences, Here's the sizing and colors, et cetera, for my product. And it's not a ton of information, so it's not super SEO friendly. So again, having ChatGPT write some product descriptions for you, huge time saver. You can give it all the information. Hey, it's this type of mug. It has this information on it. It's this color and size. This would be perfect for fans of The Office etc. Have it write it out. Again, tweak it to make sure one, it's accurate because you don't want to be putting inaccurate information on your website. But two, make sure that it fits your voice and your brand. Speaking of descriptions, we're going to go back to using it for SEO and ask ChatGPT to rewrite meta descriptions to be more engaging, interesting. Now, while meta descriptions don't have huge weight when it comes to SEO, it's not a huge ranking factor according to Google, it does still have some importance because it is what we as people read when we're scanning through search results to kind of see, does this sound like what I'm looking for? And then you click. So it can help your click-through rate. So while it may not help a ton with rankings, it can help with the click-through rate, which gets more people on your website. So I had ChatGPT rewrite a meta description for MailChimp. One of my favorite ways to use ChatGPT is to generate ideas. Honestly, I've used it for meal ideas. If I'm like, what should we eat for dinner this week? <laughs> like, what, what do I make? I don't know. I'm out of ideas. So for your business, let's use it to generate some podcast ideas, blog ideas, Instagram ideas, anything you want. And specifically when it comes to like videos or blog posts, you can also have it write blog post titles. So ask it to generate, you know, five to 10 blog post ideas and then write 
SEO friendly blog post titles for each of those posts. Boom, done. And finally, this might be a little advanced. It might be a little too techy if you are someone who doesn't love to like mess with your website, but you can even ask ChatGPT to write code. So if you are wanting to customize a block or module on your website and you're like, I don't know how to do that because I'm not a developer and you want to figure it out, you can try using ChatGPT to write it. Tell it the particular module, the name of your theme, if you're on WordPress or Squarespace, etc., and it will send you the code and you can insert it. Now it doesn't tell you where to insert it. it. Usually has like a little note saying like, these are the particular settings that you need to be aware of, whatever, but could be a game changer for those who are DIYing their website. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and I will see y'all next time.